Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Bob Loon, aka Pam Loon, and today we are reviewing the legendary mod for the Houn Liu Tier 10 Dutch Cruiser. And um, this thing has always been kind of like the, the black sheep of the bunch. Nobody really enjoys this ship. I've always, you know, thought of it as a pretty interesting ship. I've always thought that people need to have a different playstyle when they're playing in this and a different mindset. And this legendary mod definitely emphasizes this type of playstyle. This is the ship to shore radio that you can get for either 5,000 gold or 250,000 free XP. It re reduces your reload time on your airstrikes by 20%, so that's very nice. That's actually quite big. Airstrike capacity plus one, so instead of having only two, you now have three. But your trade off is you do lose 5% damage. But if you think about it, you have one extra, and if they all lose 5% extra damage, in the end, you will have more damage if you wait for all three to be ready and, you know, charged up. So, I have a gameplay for you guys today, and I thought I would commentate it instead of live commentate it, so I can kind of tell you about this legendary mod and what I think. If you are interested in my build, you see it right here, and this is the commander. I do go in for the extra battlefield support, because then you have four defensive fires and four sonars. This thing has good AA, guys, so that's also why I take this. And um, I don't actually go for an extra precise aim. I go for the healing. If you do want exploit weakness, I don't take recon and surveillance. And um, yeah, you gotta have APCS because this thing has big guns. And um, yeah, they, they will do good damage. Uh, you can get very nice citadels. And in this game, you will see that also on a, on a CV. So for the final, I would probably take citadel strike or horizontal protection expert. I don't really know. I think I'd end up with this, to be honest, because like I said, this thing does get citadels. So yeah, I will hop into the game and we will uh, talk about yeah what I think about this. So the game we are in is a CV game and that is perfect because like I said, this thing does have nice AA. It is one of the, you know, really underappreciated features about this ship if you ask me. It's actually one of the main reasons why I do enjoy playing it because I can, I can take it out in any game and not really be threatened. And we're actually gonna help our team here in the beginning and position ourselves just in the, that middle island on the outer edge of the cap, so, you know, closest to us. It's that perfect little island where you can squeeze in between and a lot of people like to just sit there to hold the cap. The reason we're, we're gonna go there is because first of all, we can use our bombs to hit them on the opposite side behind their island. Second, we can provide good AA support and um, yeah, that's what you really want to be focusing on in this ship. So these bombs themselves, I feel like the best way to use them is to wait until you have at least two, and then you can, you know, unload on somebody. You can also do the strategy where you wait till you have all three, use one, get their damage control, and then use the last two to, you know, maybe ensure a fire. Having that extra airstrike capacity is really, really good. I swear to God, guys. You might lose that 5% damage, but you just have a lot more versatility. The thing that a lot of people also don't realize is that these bombing squadrons, they actually, you know, they provide spotting. So if you're trying to look for a DD, I had a game that I was trying to get some footage for this, where there was a Shimmer who was behind our base. My whole team was like pushed up. I was the only guy left behind to deal with this dude. And there's one thing I can tell you about Houn Liu, guys. It is that just because you get these this extra airstrike, it doesn't mean you're still you're better at de dealing with destroyers, you're not. This It's the one thing about this ship that a lot of people don't enjoy is you really can't deal with DDs. I mean, my trick is to swap to, to HE and do my best. You know, th there's only so much you can do. I try to go for bombs on DDs and you know, having the extra one is good. But yeah, he was just, you know, sailing me around the whole map. We were, I was just chasing him. We ended up losing because I couldn't do anything to help my team. But this is a more perfect game. This is a good map for it. And you see they're all clumped up here. I don't think we're going to get a ton of damage. But we do get a two two fires on somebody. I, don't, I didn't see who. But we did also get damage on Kabalsk. So we're going to move back. And um, just wait for our bombs again. These bombs are what is attractive about this ship. So the good thing about the Legendary mod in my opinion is. It actually emphasizes why you would grind this line. Ha playing these bombs, camping behind an island, having that safety in the beginning of a game, and on top of that, also having good AA, good AA, it's really nice, and it just feels even better now. Um, 
I never thought of this thing getting a legendary mod, but I think the way Wargaming produced this makes it a very, very worth legendary mod, and it completely changes the the way you play this ship. Like I said, I would really you know urge you to use islands a lot more. Find an island, you know. Take take a note of on maps where it's, you, where you can sit behind an island and hit the enemies with bombs. Cause they don't have a, that much range. You see here we're still out of range of this Hindenburg. But using islands and having concealment build makes it so you can actually sneak up on BBs and dump all of your bombs, you know, on one target and just see them melt. I melted a Montana from full HP to 25% with all three bombs. So that is just to say it, it really slaps. And again, we see here, like the beginning of the game, we, we go in, activate our DFA, and try to help our team as much as possible. So currently they're pushing out, they have a GK right out on my uh, 11 o'clock, if you look on the map, or 12 o'clock more. But um, we're not going to let him, you know, we're not going to go to stop him, because this Minnesota is a way easier target. You want to go for the easiest targets possible. Your, your juicy target, especially with this Legendary mod, is going to be Battleships. And stuff like Hindenburgs, you know, there's there's definitely some cruisers that have a hard time dodging these. And this guy takes a double fire. Now, we don't actually have that much damage, but it will quickly tick up with this new mod. So, I'm just going to say right now that I think if you are interested in playing the Houn Leo, you need to take this into consideration that this is something you need to get eventually. Now, like I said in the beginning, it's free to play. Um, friendly you can get this just by grinding free xp with boosters i mean that's not what i did but that's because i really love this ship and it's it's something i enjoy playing now if you're just wondering if you know if this is good without it yes it is you should not always listen to what people say surely sure yes the stats and the setup you don't have secondaries you don't have anything to deal with destroyers except your main guns do get sonar so you can at least dodge stuff, right? And a lot of people also say that the guns are bad. I tend to agree somewhat, but when you're, I'm fighting a BB like this Minnesota here, I feel like I'm doing decent damage. So don't always listen to what the stats say. Find a playstyle that works, and when you get this legendary mod, you're going to be forced to play like this because most of your damage, if you're playing versus heavy teams like I am here, is going to come from those bombs if you want to take out a BB. But also your guns. It's um, it's actually not that bad of a ship, guys. And if you get this mod, just like Sao, it becomes a way better ship. Just like Petro, it becomes better. Unfortunate that it's it's like this. That their way of fixing fixing a ship like Houdinleo or Sao or Petro, you name it, is of giving them a legendary mod. But at the same time, when they're good and they actually provide fun gameplay and a change of playstyle and you actually have a higher competitive edge i don't have anything against them so we're going to end up this game here with uh trying to catch this midway who's just sitting out here we don't catch him with the bombs but we do get some nice salvos on him and uh, I just that's just to show that when you have apcs with this ship the guns do slap uh, you do have to remember they're Scharnhorst Scharnhorst caliber guns or Scharnhorst guns i don't think so yeah at least the same caliber and they do get double citadels on midways when you have apcs so yeah, should you get this? Absolutely. If you enjoy this ship, or if you want to play this ship, have this in you know in your brain thought. Okay, I need I need to grind free XP for this, or I need to save gold for it, or just buy it. Whatever you feel like, it's definitely worth it, and I think the price for it is um is fair. So that is gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review, and now you know if it's something you should get. I will also be reviewing the Elbing Legendary mod at some point at least in the near future because that thing is also quite interesting sorry cv players no manfred review it's just a speed upgrade not that much different i'll see you guys in the next one